Hello friends, Techman Pat here. Today we're taking a look at the Crucial P3 Plus NVMe SSD M.2 drive. This is a fantastic drive on paper. First of all, it is one terabyte. Speed-wise, it does 5,000 read, 4,200 write, and I've got some tests just behind me here, and we're gonna talk about the value for this. It costs 109 Australian dollars at M-Wave, links below for that. You can obviously find it at other Australian retailers, but I'll link those below. Before we get started, big thanks to Crucial for sending me this drive for review and testing. Make sure to check out their links below. They have some competitions coming up in March. Obviously, there are promos and things to win if you purchase one of these products. But let's see if it's worthwhile purchasing one of these after the intro. The P3 comes in four sizes, 500 gigs, one terabyte, two terabytes, and four terabytes. Now this is the more affordable version in my mind. The P5 Plus was the premium one for your PS5 that actually requires ridiculously high speeds. When you're gaming on a PC, that would be a good one to use, but it is obviously a little bit more expensive. However, there is this middle range, the P3 Plus. So at $100 for one terabyte, the prices have actually significantly come down. I remember I bought my Samsung Evo 970 for $280 at one terabyte. This is now better in performance and it is less than half price, which is absolutely incredible. Now Crucial has been making hard drives for a long time and the SSDs, NVMEs that they've been making have been incredible. I still have a P2 from two years ago that is running very well inside this computer for storage and I'm very impressed at the time. It was also cheap, it was only about 200 bucks a couple of years ago. So prices have certainly calmed down. So the speeds are rated at 5,000, but what is the actual speed that you get when you test it in? Well, impressively, it is again above the spec that Crucial mentions this. So I'm starting to think Crucial gives you a number that is actually a little bit lower than what is expected. So if it does lower, it usually hits the mark of what's advertised. That's good advertising, very impressed, crucial. So we have 5,202 on average for the read speed and 3,700 for the write, which is a little bit lower than the rated one at 4,200. But on average, I saw it jump to 4,000, uh, but it did just end up at 3,700. So I guess it really depends how many PCIe lanes you already have in use. And this test was done on my setup and yours may vary when it gets to actual testing. Now, how does that compare to my Samsung Evo 970? Well, as you can see, the read speed is 3,200 on average for the Samsung and the write is 2,500. It is pretty much almost double, just shy of double, 1.8% faster. And what does that actually translate to? Well, I installed a whole bunch of games, specifically Warzone, which takes a little while to load. And the difference was well, insignificant, but loading up Windows 11 was much faster. Right now, I'm actually running the crucial one because I found the boot up of Windows to be a little bit faster, actually about 15 seconds faster, which is not something to laugh at. It is a lot faster, just of that extra nearly 1,500, 2,000 uh, read speed. So that's great. Now loading movies from it when you've got a 50 gig file, absolutely incredible, very snappy. So the difference from another NVMe is not going to be massive unless you're running old M.2 SSDs and VMEs. But what about going from a mechanical hard drive to an NVMe M.2 drive? What about an SSD? Well, incredibly, I did another test of an SSD and the speeds will absolutely shock you. Let's put that into perspective at what kind of upgrade a crucial P3 Plus could be for you for $109. So as you saw, a two-year-old Samsung Evo 970 was hitting just a couple of thousand read under the P3 Plus. So this one's hitting 5,000 or 5,200 for me. Incredible, right? But let's take a look at a classic SSD, the big old square ones that go into your SATA cables into the back of your motherboard. This is a Samsung EV840 250 gig SSD at a read write of 537 to 479. That is nearly 10 times less 
than your crucial one right here. Now, that is a massive jump. 10 times faster than the standard SSD. And people still use standard SATA PCIe SSDs. But how does that compare to a mechanical drive that's also a SATA drive? Well, this is a Western Digital 10 terabyte mechanical drive. It's actually really, really fast. Don't get me wrong, but it's hitting about 198 read and 176 write. That means if you are running your Windows installation on the mechanical drive, it'll be incredibly slow loading, booting, and basically doing anything else on the drive. If you remember the jump between mechanical to an SSD, that was incredible. I remember that time many, many years ago when the first Samsung started being affordable and still there were hundreds of dollars for a 150 gigs SSD, not even M.2. Now we have this crucial one terabyte for $109 Australian and it gives you almost 25 times more performance than a mechanical drive. So friends, thank you very much for watching. Make sure to check out the links below. Big thanks to Crucial for sending me this M.2 for review and make sure to like this video if you did and subscribe to see more content like this and support us. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all later. Bye.